So it's going to lose this. I'll make a panda there. So there's two ways of, of making um, a panda. One is with primitives, and that's these shapes here. And that's as simple as copy, paste. Um, paste. And then the, the main thing you've got to remember is this icon here, the Z axis, the forwards and backwards. Drag forwards, drag backwards. Uh, and then brushes. Right, I'm doing this with a, uh, a mouse and a keyboard and trackpad and stuff, so go easy on me. <laughs> this is not going to be quite as detailed as I'd want. Uh, I always use a watercolour brush, I like the watercolour brush, because that softens and gives you nice grey edges. Uh, and then I'm just going to use um, the oh yeah I'll tell you what Paint 3D was made to be touch interface happy and you cannot say that with any other art application uh, th sorry, that's, that's bad of me. You cannot say that with any other three D art application. So there is super simple um, panda made with primitives. So that's one way of doing it. Now your one whoops, <laughs> I scaled it. Uh, a little bit too scale because I should have pressed um, control on the keyboard and thought I don't want to do that because I'll obscure the camera and I remembered you're not going to see the camera. So that gives you that and that's one way of making a panda. The second way of making a panda I'm going to do it slightly more in this style because then I can trace it is 3D shapes and this is the thing that Paint 3D does better than anything else jolly good will share I, please do share with me what you do in Paint 3D. Now I'm going to trace um, the objects from Stars and Sprinkles character. The ones that I can see. Um, go away, Autodesk. Now I've drawn, um, copy, paste, flip. I've drawn all of the objects that I need. I'm going to chain them all white so you can see them a bit more better. Uh, but they're too thin, or they will be too thin. Yeah, okay, pencils, you're right. I'm just going to rotate this, make them wider, and just move them around a bit. A little bit too fat, that panda, so grab the arms. So it's not perfect, because the image that I was tracing is not there to be done. There we go. But super simple. Then I will give him black arms, legs and ears. Uh, I'm going to draw as a model the nose. Uh, and then I'm going to paint in the eyes. I'm 
with a mouse, it looks terrible. <laughs> and then rather than use a sticker for the eyes, I'll draw the eyes in. Uh, and that gives me that. So 3D Doodle, you can use primitives and that's totally fine. I would use 3D Doodle all the time. It's just the, the thing I did. The, the skull that I made was all 3D Doodle. Uh, the dragon will primarily be 3D. In fact, it will all be 3D Doodle. Think about it. The, the scene that I make will be 3D Doodle. But that gives me that. So if I... Let's make it... So I make it a scene. A panda <laughs> with a balloon head. So I'm just going to make. I'll do this with primitives just because it fits in with the rest of it. Uh, so that is the aperture that you'd blow into with a cone. Should be there on the balloon panda head, and then I'm going to use this tool, which is the other. There are three 3D doodle tools: the uh, tube brush, which is like a sausage brush; uh, this one, which is like drawing a pillow or a cushion; or the hard edge one, the cookie cutter. And the cookie cutter, I normally, I use it for a number of things. When I make the ladder, uh, I'll make it for that. But I, I, often I use it as a shadow type ground plane object. Anything that you need to hard edge for, basically. But this one, the 3D Doodle tool, that's going to be dead useful for the string that, hold, that he's holding the balloon. Now, oh, I, know, I can do that here, can I? So select, ungroup, select that one. <laughs> there we go, panda and balloon, which it totally was not planned. <laughs> However, hopefully that does kind of show how su super simple paint 3D is. Now, I say that, that said, I have been using this for years. Um, so if you get stuck on the thing, just give me a shout on Instagram or something. But, I would argue that if you wanted to learn 3D, this is the way. Uh, now I've done that, I'm just going to add, only because I think it'll look better, if I did it as a spinning animation here, I've drawn the mouth in under the nose, but it would be better if I modelled it from a, a detail point of view. So I'm going to copy that, paste it, flip it. Paste it one more time. Now 
Now it looks like he's got a goatee. <laughs> Make it bigger. Rotate it. view so yeah no give it a go oh right what's the pi pencils what's the, sorry I wasn't looking at the chat room I was keeping an eye on panda what is the pineapple drawing share share where is it All of that, well, almost all of that, was made with this tool here, the 3D Doodle tool. So let's just save that as a spinny. to put it together stick it onto YouTube as a tutorial so basically just to cover any steps that I might not have uh, to, uh, spoken about and spoken through I predominantly use this tool here the 3d doodle soft edge tool and I drew a shape and then I drew new shapes, but what I could have done in retrospect is copied and pasted the same shape. Do you know what? I had my headphones on and I thought, can I feel something crawling on my headphones? Yeah. Right, but I can't see anything, so if there was, it's gone or it's gone in my ear. So copy that paste that, flip that, drag that. And then if I keep doing that, copy, paste, I get the panda. Then I rotate it 90 degrees and just widen the parts that I need to widen. That gives me that. Grab the head, drag it forwards a little bit so it's overlapping the tummy a bit more. Grab these two, copy, paste. Copy, paste. <laughs> I get a dancing band of it. So, oh, hang on, I need one more for the nose. Uh, and then I draw on the face this time using the watercolor brush or the marker That gives me that. So just one tool, 3D Doodle, one shape, copied and pasted, gives me that one. However, let's go back to the original, because I've just saved this out, and I liked what I saved it out as. So I'm just going to grab the balloon and move it over. I'm going to grab the head and group it and rotate it so it's looking up at the balloon. Uh, I'm going to move all of the objects so that the balloon is carrying him away. Uh, because I liked the panda that I did, I just thought it needed a better silhouette of action. Now I'm going to move the shadow, copy the shadow. 
paste the shadow. The top one I'll make a darker grey and I'll have it so it's just overlapping the bottom one. That gives me this. Now you can't see the shadow at the moment because it's below the ground plane. So I'm just going to grab everything, drag it up until the shadow is on top of the ground. That gives me this. Uh, and that gives me the final animation, which I'd, I'd already done. I just wanted to show how I did it because um, I didn't want to save the file out and jump to a slightly better one, which I would have done. So here is Panda being carried away by a panda balloon, which probably says something deep and meaningful about marketing and merchandising. <laughs> but now nah, it's too early in the morning and my coffee caffeine amount has run out. And that gives me that. Oh, hang on, I added a bit more shadow in the shadow. That gives me that. I changed the colour of the background. I went through all of them trying to find the one I liked best and the one that I liked best was that one. I then saved it as a spinny. So, um, I hope you like that, because yeah, I, I really like it, I think it's a really uh, cute character. Um, up until now, for me, the Penguin has been the like number one Paint 3D demo, the first one I shared. But actually, do you know what, I really like Panda, I think it really suits Paint 3D. Now, I could try a different one, swing, jump and turn, wobble, emerge hover. If there was no shadow, hover might be the one that I went for, but the shadow I want to, to uh, attach it to the ground. So there we go, Pandra in Matrix time. <laughs> if I slow it down then it is Matrix, isn't it? Or if it's speed it up. There we go. Uh, Panda made in Paint 3D. Super, super, super simple. Give it a go yourselves, please. Have a try. Uh, if you like it, if you enjoyed it, hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. It's Paul Kerkal, K-E-R-C-A-L, on everything. I make made this object on Twitch. I'm on Twitch Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. Uh, it'd be lovely if you came, come and say hi. This was as a direct result of somebody on Twitch saying, uh, talking about pandas and artwork. And I thought, do you know what? A panda will be a great paint 3D object and without wanting to seem too egotistical, I think I was right. <laughs> Hope you like it. Cheers, take care, bye bye.